If you haven't seen the last videos in the series, click the card on the top right to see them. Other than that, enjoy the video. Alright, so getting back into this project after a very long time, I think it's been like half a year, maybe six months, six, seven months around there. I'll have to check, but now we're going to get into making a loading bar so you can uh, you see you can have the user visualize like the download progress. Uh, I'm going to insert my progress bar and once I'm done with that we can get started. Okay so I'm done adding in the progress bar. I also did a little bit of you know moving around the play button and the version selector and now we can get into making this actually display the progress of our download. So first of all we're going to need to get a reference of our progress bar so um, in the XAML code on the line where you have the progress bar or like and the progress bar and then forward slash and then the, the the greater than sign. So we're gonna put a space and then we're gonna create a new event handler for the initialized. And make sure that it doesn't overlap with any other event handlers. So once we have our event handler, we can now get into the code. So if you scroll down, it's auto-generated. It should be at the bottom of your class and we can just move it up here, you know, to keep it clean and keep it on one line since we're only really initializing a variable. And in here we're going to, I have already have a progress bar variable set up, so we're just gonna assign that equals, and then we're gonna cast our sender into the progress bar. Progress bar over sender, and there. Now we have our progress bar set up, and now what we can do is actually modify like the amount that is filled on the progress bars. Um, in our file downloader, right, in, in the file downloader we have here, there's already an event handler called download progress changed. And this contains a property for like the progress amount. So in our event handler here, our file downloader download progress, if we do progress and then we press dot, you can see progress percentage, which is what we can use to change the amount on our progress bar. So just take download progress dot value equals progress dot progress percentage. And that is literally all we have to do. It's as easy as that. So now if we run the launcher and uh, I go to like 1.3.0 and I just hit play and it's going to be downloading and eventually you'll see this progress bar go up. Oh, there you go. There. And the game has launched. There you go. This is version 1.3.0. All right. And that is basically all there is to it. That's It's very simple. And yeah, I will see you in the next tutorial and video. Uh, goodbye.